Welcome back y'all to another recipe video. I have two amazing quick and easy crock pot recipes for you today. First is this pot roast, which was so good. And then also some Dr. Pepper ribs. So for this recipe, you are gonna need two to three pounds of beef roast, a cup of water, some sort of um, like olive oil or cooking spray, something like that two packages of brown gravy, a package of baby carrots, and four to five potatoes. Um, I already have cut mine up, but you're gonna need about four to five potatoes. And your crock pot. So for me, I love to do crock pot recipes on days when I have to work. I do work a normal Monday through Friday, eight to five type job. So I love to throw a crock pot on in the morning and then have it ready for us when we get home in the evenings. Um, but I don't usually have time to do things like peel potatoes in the mornings because that is a tedious task. So I went ahead and did my peeling and cutting of potatoes the night before to get them ready. Um, and to keep them fresh in the fridge all night long, I put them in a bowl of water water and then covered that bowl um, it's just a large Tupperware I covered it and stuck it in the fridge so these potatoes would still be fresh and ready to go into the crock pot in the morning and then I just made sure and drained all the water out before I dumped them in so now it is morning and we are going to start adding our ingredients into the crock pot. First thing I'm going to do since I'm not using a liner with this recipe is I am going to spray my crock pot with this olive oil cooking spray and then I like to rub it around with a paper towel just to make sure it's in all the nooks and crannies. You don't want your food sticking to the crock pot. Next we're going to put our piece of meat in there. Mine is a little discolored. It's just oxygenization from being in the fridge. And then I'm going to pour some potatoes in and the carrots. Um, I did do a little bit more potatoes than the recipe originally called for and quite a few more carrots. So <laughs> my crock pot is pretty full. Now we're going to take that cup of water that we have and we are going to pour the one package of brown gravy mix into it. You're going to save the other package to do at the end. Once you mix the brown gravy mix in with the water, you're just going to dump that all over your pot roast. I did end up adding just a tiny bit extra water since I added a few more extra potatoes. Then I'm just going to put some salt and pepper on this and then cover it up and get it cooking. We are going to put it on low heat for nine hours. This can be cooked anywhere from eight to ten hours depending on your slow cooker. And then I forgot to record this, but when I got home from work, I did take another cup of water with some brown gravy mixed into it and pour that in and let it cook for another 30 minutes to an hour. And here is the final results. Great for a family night dinner. So you only need three ingredients for this recipe. You need some ribs, two to three pounds worth, some Dr. Pepper, and your favorite barbecue sauce. That's it. So for this recipe, since you're not needing to do any like stirring or anything in the crock pot, I am going to go ahead and use a crock pot liner to keep my crock pot clean. I love these liners. They are so handy and can be found at your local grocery store. Next, I'm just going to add in the ribs into my crock pot. In the future, I would probably cut these ribs in half so that I can try to cover them more. Um, we did find that the ends that weren't covered in the Dr. Pepper did get a little, they were just, they weren't cooked. They were a little less moist than the rest. But after I put my ribs into the crock pot, I am going to go ahead and pour some Dr. Pepper in. I just eyeballed this. Um, it does say to use one can. I had this big two liter jug, so I just poured some Dr. Pepper in. You use your discretion on how much or how little you want to put in. In the future, I'd probably put a little bit more in. Then you are going to cover the crock pot and you are going to cook this on low heat for seven hours. When I got home from work, the first thing I did was go ahead and preheat my oven to 400 degrees so we could go ahead and get the ribs cooking. And then I took my Dr. Pepper and I did half of a cup of Dr. Pepper mixed with three fourths of a cup of the barbecue sauce. And I mixed that all together to use as the sauce on the ribs. Thank you. 
Now we are going to remove the ribs from the crock pot and put them onto a foil lined baking sheet with a wire rack on top of it. And I definitely had some difficulties. These ribs were already falling off the bone, so it was hard to get them out. Um, we do not have any um, like tongs at the moment. We Ours got rusted and we had to throw them out. So they probably would be easier with a pair of tongs. <laughs> Mine was really difficult. Then I'm going to take that sauce mixture that we just made and I am going to cover this top side with the sauce. And then I'm going to stick these in the oven to cook for 15 minutes. Once the first 15 minutes is up, we are going to pull these out of the oven. We are going to flip them all over, and then we are going to cover the other side in barbecue sauce as well before we put them back into the oven for another 15 minutes. And look at how dirty my oven is here. If you haven't already joined my August week of cleaning open collaboration, make sure you do because cleaning my oven out is one of the things I'm going to be covering during that week of cleaning that I'll be hosting at the end of the month. After that 15 minutes is up, you pull them out of the oven and these ribs are ready to eat. And man, oh man, were these so good. This is probably one of my favorite meals I've cooked in a while. And y'all, I've had a lot of good meals lately, I feel like. These are so good and so quick and easy though. And only three ingredients, which is amazing. And the whole family loved it. My kid, my husband, we all loved it. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you try any of these recipes out, Make sure you tag me on Instagram at Shauna Ray Videos. And if you were new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button before you head out the door. We'll see y'all next time. Bye, y'all.